This is session 18 of Tomb of Annihilation. Uh, I'm guessing everyone is here, right? <laughs> I am. Rags and Billy are here. Yep. All right. Um, and if you all will remember from last time, um, you had <laughs> solved with help uh, the riddle of the shrine, the one where the story, where the poem actually fit the uh, the grid on the wall. So you have finished his shrine and taken possession of cube number six. And you know that the red wizards have one cube. That just leaves two more. And... And Omu, you're up at the little flooded shrine there, which you have just finished. Um, and in last session, uh, let's see, you had been chased by the Yuntai. <laughs> And you had managed to uh, escape them from uh, the Y on the map. And just to the northeast of uh, You see a waterfall to the uh, northeast, um, and you know it's a uh, probably fifty, sixty foot tall waterfall. And I'm just pointing that out as a feature, but that's where all the water is coming from. That is uh, currently flooding Omu. So, uh, the next thing is, uh, I guess, pick a direction, and what would you all like to do? Do we keep going the same direction we're going, just follow along around the edge of it? And I say we move, excuse me, oh, hold on. I say we're moving like out that direction. Yeah, that works for me. Uh, through the water. Well, we're gonna have to go through it sometime, and there are buildings over there that need to be searched. So. Yep. Sounds like a good idea. Any time there's obscuring water is never a good idea. Okay, uh, you all are sloshing through the water, headed to um, the southeast. Um, you do have um, you do see a circular wall as you're coming down through that um, surrounds the royal palace and the section uh, 
large section of the city there. Uh, there is a break in the wall where you can enter the section that way and you do have buildings that lie outside of the circular wall should we check the building circular on the outside of the wall and see if we find anything Agreed. I'm not too keen on getting around the royal palace just yet yeah <laughs> Op opulence generally brings the most powerful of bad guys Nah, absolutely. Uh, so anyway, you, you know, this water is uh, very in-depth throughout, and, you know, it, it's taking you a good little bit. It's not like it was an easy walk to get over to these buildings. And... Oh God! <laughs> uh, okay. Um, by the time that uh, you get over there, uh, it's starting to get dark. Um, there are several buildings that uh, catch your eye and that are of interest. Um, and as you exit the the uh, let's call it the lake for what it is, but the flood zone. Um, you come up on dry land, and uh, you know this part of the city is uh, just like everything else. And you do identify a building that is a shrine, and I'll put a token on it. And, you know, as you're uh, standing out, you actually do make it to the dry part of land. And, sorry guys, we're going to run this encounter before we get to the uh, shrine. Because I have way too many things on my combat tracker.
Okay, um, the shrine is uh, just to the north of you. Like I said, you are outside of the flood water. You're just at the edge of, uh, you know, the shoreline. And wow, that grid is hard to see on this map. <laughs> That's why I zoomed in. Loads up, I'll zoom in too. <laughs> and, uh, um, but just like the rest of the Omu, uh, you, you see the ruins uh, around. Uh, as you walk by the shrine entrance, um, Uh, you don't happen to notice the usual inscription on the outside of the shrine. But, uh, gentlemen, it is uh, starting to get dark. Um, do you want to camp before you attempt the shrine? Uh, it has been a long day. You have done... Um, You did two shrines plus ran from uh, the Yuntai. <laughs> yeah, okay. we can do a rest. Yeah, yeah I'm hurt now. That's spells. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> Malik, can I get you to... Uh, Make a uh, perception check in the tower, please. Okay. Good. <coughs> the the wind is uh, starting to blow. I, you know, it's. Uh, uh, to be in the jungles of Cholt, y you know, uh, it, it's a nice evening as you're setting up camp, and uh, there's a slight breeze blowing, and Melik, you're not sure, but it seems like you heard someone say your name just as a whisper in the wind. Okay, I um, wake the other guys up and say, I think I heard someone not saying something. Uh, and truly, you're all not even, uh, uh, you, you know, you just, hey, you just stopped to set up camp and you heard it. Uh, you know, yep. it's it's probably 6 in the evening, 6.30 maybe. Yeah, mention it anyway. Do I know what direction it came from? Uh, no. Uh, it was just a very faint whisper. Okay. Okay. And the rest of you all do not have to roll uh, perception checks. Uh, you hear screaming coming from the southwest. And you hear noise in the brush as if um, something's running your way while screaming. I am going stealth.
Okay. Can I get my token on the yet? Can you get your token what? On on the map. Yeah, Unger was never pulled in. Oh, sorry. Uh, yes, and then you, uh, want to roll initiative after that. I'll let you get your buffs in. You're definitely not surprised that something is coming. That was weird. I almost thought I heard someone whispering my name for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, and to the southwest of you, um, you see three goblins emerge from the brush and they are just screaming they are terrified uh, you know they seem to be in a full out panic and they finish their dash out of the woods right there. That's 13, 4, and 17. But uh, Kellen, here come uh, three goblins just screaming, their arms are flailing. Uh, you know, you might think that they're running from something. All right. I am going to stay. Du, 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 du. I'm going to delay. I don't know what's going on yet, and until I do, I'm not going to rashly act. Okay. Uh, Mr. Happy? Yeah, he's just going to chill out for now. See what happens. Okay, Helm. I guess just ready in action. They do run at us. And I'll, I don't okay. Uh, Orbix is just, uh, he's gonna ready in action. Malik! Just ready in action too. Ungra. I'm just ready in it. And I believe you're probably not prone. And oh. I can probably do what's coming after us. <laughs> A closet? No, I think it's uh, uh, a miss. Uh, a miss click on the ready to action on you. Okay. 
Okay, let's see, where the hell are we? <laughs> okay, the three goblins. Yeah, they are dashing towards you. Once again, they're, yeah, you know, it's like they're panicked. And coming from the bushes behind them, you see one of these creatures emerge. A four armed gorilla. And it is doing a flat out dash chasing the goblins. So yes, you have a gorilla zombie chasing goblins. You know, my uh, grandfather once told me about something like this. He said it could be much worse. <laughs> it could be a dinosaur zombie. <laughs> I think the last one we ran into uh, killed one of the party members. <laughs> one of these? Alright, I am going to yeah, be ready in action uh, if he gets within... We're a few levels down. Give me a second, I'm checking ranges here. If he gets within 80, I'm going to fire off a volley at him. Okay. And if I passed my stealth check, I am still in stealth. Uh, yes, you did pass your... Until yeah. I shoot. Okay. I was going to say, I won't know until I actually go to shoot. So. And Mr. Happy... Uh, he's just gonna hang out and watch what's going on. Okay, Helm. spiritual weapon um, place it for, beside me for right now okay I'm just gonna ready in action and Corvix is uh, <laughs> just going to ready in action. Okay, and emerging from the woods, uh, you see another one of these appear. Go get him, Cleric. Let's see. Am I in range of the goblins yet for chill touch? 120 feet? In party banner, I wouldn't even worry about a goblin. I, I, I wouldn't. <laughs> okay. Chill touch a goblin. Uh, 
Okay, and you hit the goblin. Did you enjoy that? That that one hit kill. <laughs> now we have lunch. <laughs> Besides, they could be carrying treasure that they stole from the zombies. As we all know, gorilla zombies have it treasure. <laughs> <laughs> so we can lock the things down. Oh yeah, sure can. There you go. Also, uh, just for your sense of balance, the top gorillion needs to be balanced out in squares. Yeah, Moral's just gonna ready in action. And he's dead, so he ain't doing nothing. Uh... <coughs> And they are doing a dash towards you. And Gorilla 13. is doing a dash chasing them all right during that dash okay it did not move him within range of my ready to action so it's a standard turn now the, go the goblins are though right yeah but i wasn't it's my choice on whether i'm going to use it against them or not they're not the biggest threat to see and i'm not giving up my stealth for a, a goblin kill I'm going to ready another action. Okay. Mr. Happy? Uh, let's see. Guess you'll uh ready to bite one of the goblins if they get close. You're being very reserved with Mr. Happy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Helm. You there, Helm? Up 
Alrighty, uh... Orbix is... He's moving up. And is hiding. And number 27 is going to do a dash and come up. And just to make it interesting, you see a third one come out from the jungle. Okay, I'm going to chill touch a goblin. So remember, you've got reach, bud. Yeah. Probably smarter for you to stay behind the thing. You get crushed very <laughs> easily. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you can hide behind Mr. Happy. That also could work. And what's the range? And he succeeded his saving throw. And Moral's gonna come down some. And number 17. Let's see. User joined your channel. Hey guys. Hey, hey hello. howdy. <laughs> and I'm late. Oh. All good, man. No worries. You're about to be eaten. <laughs> Thirty. <laughs> and goblin number seven. Uh, wouldn't that trigger Mr. Happy's attack? Uh, does Mr. Happy have uh, what is it? The feet, the unarmed fighting feet. Uh, I never mind. <laughs> uh, yeah, being being a tiny creature using uh, unarmed weapons, I don't think you get an attack of opportunity with. Uh, uh, I thought he was like readying to bite a goblin, but. <laughs> Oh, if that's the case, then by all means. Uh, yeah, uh, absolutely. And... Hey! 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 Ooh, Mr. Happy gets a kill. <laughs> And Malik, close to leveling up. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> Mr. Happy killed this goblin that was quite obviously 
running at you. Thanks, Mr. Happy. And And that one does a dash toward the group. All right, I got to double it here. Um, my first one is my ready to action for when he passed 80 feet, and then my second's going to be my standard attack. So, my first. A natural one at most. I'm not in cover any longer. <laughs> I hope my second. Five points damage. Uh, he's going to move up uh, between um, Helm and Unger Max. Is he going to bite either one of them? <laughs> no. <laughs> and ready in action, I'm assuming. Yeah, getting ready to attack if uh, something gets within range. Okay. Um... You here, um, Let's try to be. you hear a voice, uh, speaking. And you see a another um, two goblins appear. Um, one of them, uh, it's got you know some sort of apparel on that makes you think that he's probably in charge of the operation, and the fact that he's speaking. But they uh, jump up on the ruins right there. the info for the server chain. I'm sorry. It changed last week. It changed last week because he changed routers. Oh yeah, that's uh, oh. correct. Give me just a second. No, I'll give it to you. Move right here. Yeah, I just sent it to you in team speak. Thank you. Uh, I love my fantasy ground. Swing, swing on my spiritual hammer. I'm on. I was really hoping you were going to move up. <laughs>
Okay, yeah. Uh, Orbix is... Yeah, not a lot he can do from there. And this one is a, doing a dash up. Now look. I saw a uh, little touch. And move there. Try Sacred Flame at number twenty seven, and he does hit okay, number thirteen. Okay, Helm, um, yes, you see this, um, gorilla look at you, and first of all, it tries to bite you, and it misses, and then you see it shriek in rage, and these claws start swinging at you. And fortunately, every one of them missed you. <laughs> yeah, they're kind of like those whiff gorillas. <laughs> <laughs> the only problem with it is you can only hold one of them. I think heeding your guys' advice and staying behind the tank was a good idea. <laughs>
hit. This will tell me if my suspicions are right or not. Nope, they do take sneak damage. Uh, he's gonna flap up and attack Gorilla Zombie 13. Nope. <laughs> oh, by the way, before my term's over, I holler out to uh, to everyone that uh, the boss zombie that jumped out yelled, "Bring out the others." Let us chat a bit. Speak goblin. I speak goblin. Yeah. Eh, so it'll be a goblin buffet. All right, Helm. I see he's referring to more gorillas. Oh boy. He's on the ropes. He got him down to heavy. Heavy starts at fifty percent hit points. <laughs> I, I would run away, cause cause if you don't kill him, he he's just gonna murder you. Uh, <laughs> I'm uh swinging at him. <laughs> now it, I'll let you take it back. <laughs> <laughs> I close on me. That's why I asked you to run away. Yeah. <laughs> And I'm gonna go ahead and start moving my spiritual weapon over here. And my spiritual ham uh, hammer's gonna take Oh, did I have multiple target? Yeah, I had the dead one targeted. <laughs> I missed that one. Okay, uh, yeah, Orbix is just gonna stay out of it until he can. Twenty-seven. Is gonna make a dash toward Malik. And thirty one's making a dash toward the group. You see the goblin running out of the jungle and stopping, and right behind him is another gorillion.
Okay, I'll move down to about there. <laughs> And chill touch the zombie. Let's see. And let's see here. Is they actually gonna make it into this fight or we've been after? Oh, yeah, sorry. And say you wanna roll initiative. Share the map, I can't see it. And would you like to keep the eight or the eighteen initiative order? <laughs> um, well, the first one, I guess, it's accidentally clicked twice. Or okay, Ungra, you are up, sir. I throw in a hand axe at 20. Other one. gonna try a sacred flame and he failed his saving throw and Moral's gonna back up some all right Zay and Nick, he needs this token on the. We'll stick you up here beside Kellen. <laughs> Big ass gorilla. Heavily, uh. I'll get some. And try and smoke. I'll uh, take my spear and hit him. <coughs> Damage and uh, and arm strike. I've 
And I'll shimmy. Okay, Calvin. And I drop my bow. Pull up my swords, move up 20. And I'm going to attack him twice. I am going to withdraw. Can I have them uh, attack twenty seven? That was a good try. Helm. <laughs> hey. Question number 20. <clears throat> and then move spiritual hammer down here. is gonna come out and he's going to um, fire his hand crossbow and he does hit it number 31 for some damage number 27 um, We're going to try a bite, which does hit. And then we're going to try some claws. And they all freaking missed. It's hot out. He's like fanning him. <laughs> no kidding. 
Uh, <laughs> and he's going to uh, come over and try and bite Ungra, which uh, <laughs> does not connect. Uh, 13 is uh, doing a mad dash. And number seven is doing a dash after the goblin. And Malik. Okay. <laughs> Do a uh, chill touch. And move there. <laughs> and Malik, uh, as you move, uh, you hear a feminine voice that says, You will pay for what you did. Angra. I'm here. <laughs> Good move. <laughs> but. Beat him down. Yeah. <laughs> You can't do it. You know what? I'm gonna action surge. <laughs> <laughs> and just really <laughs> try to hit him. <laughs> <laughs> now, with action, okay. With action surge, it's just like one regular attack, one, right? No, it's another attack action. So, oh, okay. Well, that didn't work either. <laughs> <laughs> I got really tired at the end there. <laughs> it's a heavy mall, man. I know. <laughs> and Moral's gonna wait and see what's going on. All right, Zay. I'm gonna walk over to the early on 13th. Healthy. As a bonus action, I'll apply a hex on him. And I'm gonna attack him <coughs> with my uh, both hands. Hex says, don't you get to choose a stat they have like disadvantage or some like penalty? Oh, yeah, well, I'll choose strength. <coughs> yeah, they get disadvantage. Ability checks, I think. Okay, Callan. Alright, he's too far out of my range, so I'm gonna fire up his happy butt. And then I am going to move. There. Uh, 
Uh, he's going to flap up and attack 31. <laughs> he's a flapper. Hey, he hit that time. Oh, and I'm sorry. I meant to add on my turn. I holler out to everybody that uh, the goblin leader screamed out, you're acting like orcs, get the big one out. <coughs> Let us chat a bit. Oh, well, that... <laughs> wow, that's, that looks like a mouthful. <laughs> well, uh, I, I was trying to do, you know, the cartoon cursing using the punctuation. <laughs> uh, that's that's funny. funny. And apparently there's uh, only a carrot for the all uh, the punctuation font. Ah, <laughs> 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 uh, but uh, uh, Kellen, uh, you, you can tell that you know this. The goblin boss is just, uh, he's furious and just barking every obscenity that he can at his men. That's funny. And Helm. <laughs> okay. Spiritual weapon. See if I can get him down. Please help. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> I'll move right there. Okay, um, Orbix is... Yeah, he can't do anything of any value. 27's no longer a threat. 31's no longer a threat. Uh, 13... is howling ass towards you. Number seven is howling ass your direction. Um, from, <laughs> from the south of you, um, You hear screaming. And two more goblins uh, come running up and kind of towards you, Malik. I'll move up. And I shout, uh, Kellen, uh, <laughs> watch out, there's a uh, angry lich wearing an illusion uh, in the area. <laughs> and I'll chill touch a goblin.
Um, you hear this tremendous roar and right behind uh, this Tyrannosaurus Rex appears right behind the goblin and the T-Rex reaches out and it bites the goblin and just pretty much uh, crunches it and it throws it up in the air and it catches it and it's swallowing the goblin but you now have a T-Rex on the playing field And Unger, you can feel free to shit yourself if you'd like. <laughs> Wouldn't be the first one, dinosaur we've taken down. West, always west. West, <sighs> east, always to the east. Um, I thought, yeah. Less air to evil, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Better approach this one. Yeah. Okay, Moral is not fucking around. We are going with a uh, We're going with a third level guiding boat. say You have to say. Jose. Sorry, guys, my mic was off. I was actually talking. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I was checking. Um, I'm being. I'll just. I'll uh, reapply the hex from the dead. 
on zombie on the Tyrannosaurus Rex. On the, I'll take my spear and chuck it. Good throw. I was just missing the damage from the hex by the. Um, there will be an extra DC. Yeah, uh, yeah. Okay. And I always have to redrag. Set up. All right, I'm gonna move that thirty feet in that direction. You're moving the wrong way. <laughs> <laughs> He's got to get to me, man. I'm faster than he is. Especially considering somebody get on him and he really can't get to me. All right, I'm I'm gonna hit him with a firebolt. And I thought I was going to, but it lashed over his head. That one messed, but I'm good. Uh, he'll attack Thurton. Eat him up, Happy. Okay, Helm. Okay, I'm gonna move right there. Move my spiritual weapon right there. And then already in action. Orb expires with his hand crossbow and misses and he's uh stepping back for cover. The wrong one moved. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Say what? You moved no. me. Oh. <laughs> I 
Okay, and... Damn it, I can't make it. So he's just going to... dash over toward Malik, which would trigger from Happy. Happy does can AOE, right? AO AOO. A what? Lack of opportunity. Lack of opportunity. Uh, makes sense to me. <laughs> yeah, I'll give it to him. Uh, by, well, he's been doing it the whole time, but by official rules he wouldn't. Um, a tiny character or a character doing an unarmed strike without improved unarmed strike cannot get attack of opportunity. Well, or am I thinking the wrong game? Then. No, no, it's just tiny creatures. Excuse me, it's just tiny creatures. Because they don't reach past five feet, uh, they can share the same square. But since we've already been doing it. Yeah, just go ahead and continue. And Malik. Okay, I'm going to use Misty Step. And Misty, step happy butt out of there. <laughs> Which is a bonus action. And then I'll build touch. Aim for the bananas. Which is a hit. And he would have a disadvantage if he attacks again. <laughs> Just move up here. <laughs> My move action. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. I need you. There's a pattern to the spells I was picking. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, <clears throat> As the T-Rex stops for a minute, and he... Uh, well, as he's coming around the wall, he kind of um, pukes up as a bonus action, uh, a normal zombie. So, the T-Rex just puked up a zombie. And... And that was the bonus action. Um, And it's going to try and bite Helm. Uh oh. Oh no. Yeah, that's an issue. But thank God. Andra. <laughs> Oh well, I'm not running if a white party should be it. <laughs> Everybody thinks I'm joking. I know. <laughs> Thanks, Steve. Try to take this out, and then we'll focus on the. Uh I can I can get the T Rex till the cows come home.
And if you don't want to stay on me, then other people got to worry about it. And Moro misses with a guiding boat. And You can do it. I believe. <laughs> I do not have any healing. See how much damage he did. To well, he doesn't even have to crit. <laughs> <laughs> we have uh, two potions of healing in the party sheet, though. I wouldn't pull him up right now, the T-Rex breathing down his neck anyway. Mm -mm. Get the T-Rex off of him, then get him up. I'll walk up to here. And I'll wail on That's the spirit. Uh, so... I saw Oh, I'm doing a open on him. It's um, I already had the effect on me. One that six was too many. Perfect. I'm gonna use close strikes on him. Uh, I'm sorry, you said remove six points of damage? Yeah, yeah. remove six, he had an extra heck. By the effect, uh, And that uh, hits. And I'll move. That's away from the battle. Yeah, but you see, if he rushes to get up on me, only thing I gotta do is disengage and he's never able to bite me. <laughs> <laughs> and I can do that all fight long. Alright, I'm gonna cast Fireball at him. Hit, and... A little bit of damage. I'll wear him down eventually, it's a fight of attrition. Attacking seven, yeah. <laughs> okay. 
these two. chat a bit. Uh, you want to make that death save? And Orbix is gonna shoot the hand crossbow. And then he is moving away from Malik. And the zombie from the T Rex is zombie headed from the T Rex. I read Zombie T Rex too. <laughs> <laughs> And number seven, uh, let's see, he's going to bite Mr. Happy. Uh-oh. And then he's going to claw Mr. Happy. <laughs> that was one. <laughs> That's two. That's three. Just sitting here watching <laughs> it. Oh, it just. And then the, the fourth one There's goes to Ungra. Which misses. <laughs> um, he sacrificed himself for Unger yeah, Max. In because he missed. Um, I'm gonna do a repost. I'm sorry. Um, I want to do one of my superiority die of repost on gorilla that missed me. Okay. But I forgot how I did this again. Oh, there he is. Okay. But. All right. That's it. That's all I got. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Malik. <laughs> I'm gonna follow my buddy over to here. <laughs> <laughs> then she'll touch the gorilla. Okay, let's see. He is going up and he's going to try and bite Zay. You've almost <laughs> got him. <laughs> so close. <laughs> <laughs> get go up here. <laughs> I 
and Moro's gonna take a five foot step and just swing his war hammer. Hey, on him again. You know, know. You're, you're about to get eaten. <laughs> Run, running away is your best option. <clears throat> and this time, I'm not bluffing. <laughs> I will after he hit. After I hit. <laughs> um, so I don't think I have the hex effect on. So, an armed strikes it is. Flapping. I'll use flurry of blows again. I'll try and flap. Oh! Yay! Flap the T Rex or. Yeah, that was a good hit. With yeah. a bitch slap. And one more attack. And slapping him behind that. By that machine. And I'm running. <laughs> I said to Kelm, tag you're it. <laughs> <laughs> Dang, you can haul. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Just thinking that, like, that's insane. Bonks <laughs> plus mobility feet. Kill it before it eats helm. I'm going as fast as I can. <laughs> Move up there. I shouldn't be, he be dead and not unconscious. Oh, he was just obliterated. Oh, yeah. How's the death save going? <laughs> First one. Pretty good. Second success. Okay, I'm going to move a little bit here, <laughs> and then I'm going to chill touch. I've known you guys. <laughs> He'll be fine. It's the worst that can happen. You had enough hits to get the one hit from him. Whew. Yeah, that's true.
Now I just got to unload on him this round. <laughs> All right, he's asking for it. Beat him like you stole something. <laughs> that's that's not. That's it. not beating him like you stole. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. There that is. is. Yes. All right, I got a boss going on my mind. Yeah. Oh, nice song that. Right there. Would uh, Moral be so kind to uh, possibly throw a, a heal on our tank? <laughs> our tank that was one shot? Well, a crit. listen, do that, a wow. crit, that crit 65 <laughs> point one shot that didn't kill him <laughs> is pretty dang good. Yeah, it would have one shot me. Huh? <laughs> All right, guys, do you mind if we uh, take five right here? Perfect time, buddy. Okay. All right, see you in a minute.